You know, nowadays, some people are looking for a boat that's small, that they can take with them on vacation, let the grandkids drive. For those people, here is the 180BR from Bayliner. Let's check it out. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. Starting up at the bow, between the cushions, you have 17 inches. There are three storage compartments. Forward, you have anchor and anchor line storage, but there's no mount inside for your anchor. And two compartments to either side for storing whatever you need. On an 18-foot boat, storage can get at a premium, so I think storing life jackets might not be the way to go. You should wear them and save the storage for something else. But the seats are very comfortable. You can bring your legs all the way up. They're going to be up against the bow, but it's still comfortable, and you have a nice grab rail conveniently located. The helm gets a bucket seat with a flip-up bolster. Dash is not too cluttered. You've got miles per hour and your tack over to the other side. Circuit breakers for the ignition, horn, anchor, and bilge, and their switches are all located to either side of the panel. And you've got a 12-volt supply over on the right-hand side. The helm seat is fully adjustable just by moving the triangle here, one way for sliding and the other way for rotating. The stereo is front of the observer. It's Sirius capable, but it does not have an MP3 jack. Just in front of that is a cooler that is self-draining. And the lid will make a little bit of noise. I found it rattled while the boat was underway, so all it would take is a simple trip to a hardware store to get a little bit of a couple of rubber pads to put here so that you don't have the plastic lid against the fiberglass. The port side back-to-back -back seats, there's an adjustment right under the front, and you can simply lay them both down for a sun lounge. Measurement between the seats, 22 and a half inches, and in the deck, you have your ski and wakeboard storage. Now this hatch is not hinged, that's going to be one of the trade-offs that you get on a price point boat, but it's not a problem here because it is carpeted all around the hatch and you've got an aluminum frame so they fit together nice and snug so this will not be bouncing out as the boat starts hitting waves. Notice you have dedicated storage for your white all-around nav light, bench seat going all the way across the transom. Our test boat is powered by a Mercury 90 horsepower Optimax. You can opt for either a 115 or a 125 horsepower. All the way at the transom, you have a dive platform and a three-step boarding ladder. Right here, the fuel fill for the boat's 23-gallon tank. Well, that's our look at the features of the 180BR. Let's get her in the water and see how she performs. The Bayliner 180 has a length overall of 18 feet, a beam of 7 feet 6 inches, and she draws only 2 feet 7 inches. She has an empty weight of 1,714 pounds, and with a 23-gallon tank filled and two persons on board, we calculated a test weight of just slightly over 2,300 pounds. With a 90-horsepower Optimax, the 180 had a top speed of 40.8 miles per hour, pulled back to a best cruise RPM of 3,500, and we were running at 21.8 miles per hour while burning only 3.1 gallons per hour. That translates to over seven hours of running time in a range of 146 miles. Not a bad way to spend 23 gallons of gas. Notice how there's very little bow rise when accelerating in the 180. It's good to know your visibility won't be hampered. We had a time to plane of 3.6 seconds and reached 30 miles per hour in 9.4 seconds. No matter how hard I tried to get into trouble, the Bayliner 180 wouldn't have any of it. In hard turns, she bled off so much speed that the turns just became relaxed changes in heading. I also found that if you try to keep speed on in hard turns, then air would get into the prop and again ventilate and slow you down. So one way or another, the 180 is going to keep you out of trouble in the turns. I think this is the kind of boat that is good to turn your kids loose with, after proper boating education, of course. Coming off of the bolster and sitting on the seat, I've got great sight lines through the windshield. I thought I would be looking right at the windshield frame, but I'm not. I'm looking straight through it. I like the molded armrest that puts my hand right on the throttle. And the steering wheel's got a little finger bump on the sides, which is in a very comfortable position. It's a comfortable boat to operate. I really like the Bayliner 180, but my only complaint that I can come up with on this boat is with the bolster. It needs to go back a few more degrees, because when you're sitting on it and you start bouncing around, it's easy to get knocked down. And that's pretty much all I can come up with on this boat. It's a very nice, very comfortable, easy handling boat. Well, there's our look at the 180BR from Bayliner. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.